Well, will you excuse me, boys? I'm going downstairs and speak to your father. Henry, do you think your folks have lost their home and they're moving in here with us? <laughs> Gee whiz. Gee. Homer, are you putting that old stool in the bag? Sure. We're going to sell it at the auction. That darn thing? Why not? If it looked good to your mother, it might look good to somebody else. You're crazy. Now listen, Henry. Do you really want to help your folks or don't you? <laughs> Now here's someone who can help all you folks. Meredith Wilson and his talking people. Intermission! Intermission! Take one! Take one! Take one? Now what do you mean by that? Well, on your own program at intermission time, you always tell your band to take five. I see. But we can't wait that long to hear about the chairs. <laughs> so you want a one-minute intermission. Well, I don't blame you. And it takes less than a minute to say jello puddings made with milk are preferred by more people than any other prepared puddings in the world. Because of their three grand flavors. And they're all so different, you'll want to try all three. Luscious, light, vanilla, rich, chocolatey, chocolate, and buttery brown, bonny, bonny, scotch. They're jello puddings. You bet they are. And they're rich and distinctive and chuck full of real homemade goodness. And they cook in just about five minutes. Hey, you kids listening in, now when you go to the store for your mother for those swell jello puddings, you look for the big red letters on the box. J-E-L-L. Oh, the big red letters stand for the jello family. Oh, the big red letters stand for the jello family. That's jello, yum, yum, yum. Jello puddings, yum, yum, yum. Jello tap, built the puddings, yes, sir. -y. And now back to the Aldrich family. Yes, getting back to the troubles of Henry Aldrich. Alice and Sam Aldrich discovered that the five antique chairs she had bought at auction were worthless without the sixth, which they are now trying to get from the Browns. As a result, Henry and Homer believe Henry's parents are in financial difficulties. The scene opens at the Browns. It is a little later the same day. As I was saying, Will, I've certainly become attached to that pipe rack of yours. <laughs> that darn thing. Yes, it sort of grows on you. Why, it was only five minutes ago I first laid eyes on it. <laughs> it took 15 years for it to grow on me. Is that right? I certainly wish it were mine. But, Sam, you smoke cigars, don't you? Oh, uh, I've suddenly taken up pipes. <laughs> what do you know? I thought pipes made you deathly sick. Uh, well, they used to, but not anymore, Will. Well, then here, let me make you a present. What? Here's a pipe I've never touched. My wife's brother sent it to me. I wouldn't smoke it with a ten-foot pole. But, Will... It's yours, Sam. And here's some new tobacco I picked up. Yeah, I'll fill it up for you. Uh, but you see, Will... Sam, would I ever give you anything if I really wanted it? <laughs> yeah. I hope I haven't packed the tobacco in too tight. Oh. Here's a light. Thank you, Will. Thank you very much. <coughs> now, there's a smoke with authority, huh? <laughs> It certainly is. <laughs> the only thing is, now I really need a place to keep this pipe. What, Sam? I'll buy that pipe rack from you, Will. Well... Sam, did you... Well, what are you two so busy talking about? Why, we're simply... <coughs> Sam, I never saw you smoke a pipe before. You didn't? Well, you're seeing me do it now. <laughs> Where have you been, Alice? Out in the kitchen with Elizabeth? No, I just went back upstairs to... Sam, do you feel well? Yes, I... I feel... <coughs> Isn't it just a little close in here? Oh, you noticed it, too. Here, let me go open the front door for a minute. Sam, it's gone. What's gone? The stool up in Homer's room, the other half of that pipe rack. It is? Dear, don't you even care? Care. Sam, I'll tell you what. If you want that doggone pipe rack so much, I'll sell it to you. Yes, sir. Give me a $10 bill and we'll call it square. Sam? Sam? Sam, speak to me. So 
soul. Sold for 25 cents to the boy with the lady in the sailor pants. Gee whiz. Now, if you just wait a minute while we get the next few items up on the platform. Boy, Henry, did you see that? 25 cents for my old left roller skate. Imagine, aren't people dumb? I'll say. Boy, they'll buy anything. And now we come to this very interesting item. Homer, it's your we stool. We have here... The one my mother was so uh, crazy about. We oh, have here, boy. folks, a very valuable-looking, uh... Well, it might make a fine milking stool. Or for shining shoes. Did I hear a bit of two? No, gee whiz, I just Homer, said... Homer, keep quiet. Hey, he didn't say two. Two I have. Who'll make it three? Oh, boy. Do I hear three dollars? Three is bid? Three is bid? Three is bid? Who'll make it three dollars? Sure, who'll make it three? You will? Fine. Three dollars I have. No. Three dollars oh, I have. What are you doing? Three dollars I'm bid for this unique and fascinating little uh, item here. Three dollars is bid. I'm bid three dollars. Three dollars? Who'll make it four? Henry, what'll I do? No one says four? Well, it looks as if the young man in the front row was in luck. Who, me? Going for three dollars? Henry, it's costing me three dollars. Going twice? It's my own stool. It's going for... Hey, what's the commotion Homer, back there? what's happening? Uh, will the gentleman who just came in please find a seat? Perhaps he'd like to bid on this object. Yes. Henry, somebody wants to buy it. The bid stands at three dollars. Three fifty. Oh. I can't accept a fifty cent raise, sir. Why not? Uh, there's a young fella here in the front row who's very eager to have this stool. No, I'm not honest. Ten dollars. What? That's more like it. Sold for ten dollars to the gentleman without a seat in the rear. <laughs> Homer, who must have bought the stool? I don't know. I can't see back that far. Gee, you know, if if I didn't happen to know my father was having financial difficulties, I'd swear it sounded like him. <laughs> Excuse me, could you help me right away, please? I want to have this chair. Why, Gus. Afternoon, Mr. Aldrich. I thought this was the cabinet makers. It is. But, Gus. I'm the new apprentice. Apprentice? Yeah. You know, they take on young fellows and teach them the trade. But, Gus, last week you were an exterminator. Yeah, I give it up. Is that so? Yeah. There I'd be, and there a poor little ant would be, and I'd give a whoosh. And there I'd be, and the little ant wouldn't be. <laughs> I, I give it up, Mr. Aldrich. I see. Went against my nature. Well, um, uh, Gus, you see this chair? Is that what it is? Well, it used to be. Uh, now, can you take this stool part that, and... that reminds me of a chair I fixed once for my Aunt Hepzibah. What a wreck. It was? No, no, she was. <laughs> Uh, Gus, look, the chair wasn't really damaged. Wasn't damaged? Oh, yes, it was. My Uncle Horace, he went clear through it. The back part was used for a pipe rack, you see. No, no, couldn't have been used for that, because Aunt Hepzibah, she never smoked. What's that? Leastways, not a pipe. Now, look, Gus. Although her mother, Great Aunt Jezebel, 96 she was, she wouldn't be caught without a corn cob. Now, wait a minute, Gus. <laughs> go the chairs. Thank goodness. I hope I've seen the last of them. You look tired, dear. Alice, do you realize I went through three generations of Gus's families to get that chair glued together? Well, let's go in the living room and sit down and count my $65. Your $65? Naturally, dear. I'll give you the $25 I paid for the chairs in the first place. Thank you. And that leaves me a clear profit of $40. And, Sam, even you'll have to admit that's a very good business deal. Exactly how do you figure you cleared $40? Quite simple arithmetic, dear. 25 from 65 is 40, isn't it? Uh, well, how about the $10 I paid Will for the pipe rack? Oh, that. And the $10 I paid at the auction for the stew. My goodness, you mean I owe you $20 more? Simple arithmetic, dear. Very well, here you are. That still leaves me a $20 profit. Did I mention it cost $12 to have that sixth chair repaired? $12? That leaves you eight. Well, $8 profit is $8 profit. How much did it cost you to have the chairs carted up here to the house? Why, not very much, just... Four dollars and forty cents. Uh. You mean all I have left is three dollars and sixty cents? I'm afraid so, Alice. 
Perhaps after this, you'll leave business to me. Sam, I have a clear profit of $3.60. And any business that doesn't operate in the red is a good business. Henry, where have you been? Handling a little business deal. Sure, and boy, did we clean up. You too? And Henry has something to say to you. No, Mother. Uh, Homer has something to say. It was his idea. Go ahead, you say it. Your folks, Henry, you say it. No, you. Well... Go on, Homer. Don't be bashful. Well... <clears throat> you've always been pretty nice to me, Mrs. Aldrich. And, Mr. Aldrich, you've been nice to me, too. At times. And now that you've had some hard luck and we've had some good luck, we'd like to give you half of what we've made. Homer, what are you talking about? Mother, I caught on. You didn't think you could keep it from me, did you? Keep what from you, Henry? Mr. Aldrich, Henry and I aren't kids. We can read between the lines. Didn't we just see a whole load of your furniture being hauled away? Yes, dear. We sold it to Mr. Smith. That's what I mean. So, gee, if you need money that bad... Here, take this. Five dollars and twelve cents. Half of what we took in. Homer, we won't do anything of the kind. But, Father, that's the way Homer wants it. That's why he sold a valuable stool right out of his bedroom. What? Sure. Dear, that's very generous of you. Thank you very, very much. You're welcome, Mrs. Aldrich. And I hope you don't have to sell any more of your stuff. Come on, Homer. But if you do, will you let us handle the deal for you? I think we could do a lot better than you could. Sam. And I thought I'd live to see everything. Sam. Now, Alice, don't cry. Dear, I never knew boys could be so wonderful. Think of it. Sharing what they made 50-50. Yes. Dear, under the circumstances, don't you think we should do exactly as much for them? You mean give them half of your profit? Half of just 360? Oh, no, Sam, half of all the money we got for the chairs. But, Alice, what about our expenses? Sam, did the boys deduct their expenses? Sometimes, dear, I think you don't know the first thing about business. Go ahead, Hans. Sure. Uh, uh, say, Mr. Auctioneer. Uh, what can I do for you, boy? Uh, here's a genuine old antique wallet, I think. You don't say. Sure, and we'd like you to auction it off to the highest bidder. But a wallet like that isn't worth anything. Sure it is. Well, there's $5.12 inside. Mm -hmm, for the benefit of Henry's parents. Why, boys, this is a case of real, genuine, old-fashioned chivalry. You bet. And when it comes to genuine, old-fashioned, homemade goodness, you just can't beat Jell-O puddings. Yes, Jell-O chocolate, butterscotch, and vanilla puddings, a trio of treats. Tomorrow, try chocolate peppermint pudding. Just prepare one package of smooth, velvety-rich Jell-O chocolate pudding as usual. While still warm, add crushed peppermint stick candy. Let it chill, and then top this luscious dessert with whipped cream and sprigs of mint. Remember, all three Jell-O puddings made with milk are nourishing, and they cook in just about five minutes. Ask for Jell-O puddings with those big red letters on the box. Those big red letters stand for the Jell-O family. Here's hoping you'll be in your living room in hours next week at this same time. Good night, folks. The Aldrich Family, starring Ezra Stone as Henry with Jackie Kelk as Homer, is written by Patricia Jaldry and Del Dinsdale with music by Jack Miller. Mr. and Mrs. Aldrich are House Jameson and Catherine Roth. And this is Dan Seymour in New York saying, The Aldrich Family is brought to you by the Jell-O Family. Everyone's a Jell-O good fellow, a very good Jell-O good fellow, so rich, so tempting and mellow, J-E-L-L-O. Stay tuned in for the Burns and Allen Show, which follows immediately over most of these stations. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.